What's up everybody? How you doing? Today I am here with Dakota. Is that right? Yep. Jesus Christ, it. that would have been super embarrassing if I got the name wrong. Um, so uh, he's trying to don a Knafton twin, 28 centimeters wide. He already makes good turns. I took one run with him yesterday. He flagged me over and I was like, dang, nice turns. Uh, so today he's trying to wide Donick and uh, yeah, he's making pretty good turns on it. How do you like it? It's amazing. It's, it takes a little getting used to, but once you're used to it, it's a dream. Cool. Let's, uh, I've got an idea in mind that I'd like to see him try. So uh, I'd love him to demonstrate a really nice toe side carve here. And then uh, we were working on the heel side grabbing carves. So uh, let's have you do one of those. Nice clean lines, I love it. All right, so my next level thing for him would be, uh, would you be willing to put on my jacket? and do the full out laid out carve since you got that carve so clean. I'll give it a shot. Boom, we're doing it. All right, the things I'd like Dakota to try here is before actually doing a real carve with it is just a traverse across, working on compressing the whole upper body into your guts and everything, balanced over your board still, but as low as possible, putting the arm down as close as to the edge and parallel with the edge as possible, and then extending and pulling it right back in just a couple of times across the run. I'll demonstrate right here, but it's not gonna work because he doesn't have sleeves that glide. I already tried it. So it'll be like this. Across the run, toe side, compress, boom, pull it back in. Cause that's most of the motion. It's just not a full on carb yet. Boom. Do it, do it one more time. All right, normally when I've uh, had people try this, I really recommend I make them do it like literally 30 times and then start, uh, with aiming the board straight down the hill and going into it and then a full carve where you're cutting across and getting the downhill edge down you know what let's do one where we aim the board straight down the hill into it and then stop and then do one more proper sounds good go <laughs> fun just to play around with putting an arm down huh very nice hey so uh, the board that he's on 28 centimeter wide 157 length and 20 uh, 28 centimeter wide and with an 8.5 radius normally those are generally specs that I recommend if you're interested in carving deeper on a normal freestyle type of setup a slightly larger radius than most freestyle boards there but that extra width if you're struggling with hitting your toes or heels Oh, kind of take it to a new level, right? Yeah. I'm thinking uh, I want to, I hope he rides his other board uh, after this, and I hope it feels like a toy to him rather than a machine. So, uh, and then he'll have to get one of these. The Donick Napton Twins. So, uh, yeah, if you want to check out a Donick Nap Napton Twin, Nationals, the USASA Nationals Big Donick demo is March 29th to April 7th. And if you want to come check out those boards, they're going to have a bunch of extras this year of these t t wide type of ones of this model in a couple of different various lengths. And that's the best way to check out, hey, is this board for me? So if you can make that, that's perfect. It's at Copper Mountain, Colorado. And uh, I will be there every day as long as it's not a pow day. I don't want to drive over there if it's shitty snowstorms and it's a uh, pretty much hard to figure out if you like a board for carving if it's powder day anyways so but yeah you basically can come there get there before the resort even opens we'll set you up with a demo and we can go take some runs me and you or a group of people if it's a group of people and then I'll just be kind of hanging out by the tent in and out throughout the day and uh, you can take some laps with me and try out wide boards pick my brains on them and whatever so uh, hope to see you there if you're interested in checking that out hey thank you for making some ripping 
carbs today. Thank you for letting me join. Yeah, thanks for uh, taping this little bit with trying the jacket too with the uh, marine fabric vinyl sleeves because we'll trade back now and I, I want him to try one with this and he'll just cringe. He'll be like, oh, yep, that ain't gonna work. So I'll uh, put a link to where you can get that stuff too if you're good enough at carving to where you can fluidly do that. If you're not actually carving, if you're doing skidded turns, then uh, not a good idea to even be trying it like that. So, hey, thank you for watching Happy Shred and kapla. It just yanks your shoulder if you don't got the material that'll glide, huh? I, I just even forgot about my feet. I, I was so focused on how bad this was feeling that yeah. I just lost track of the carb. Yep. <laughs> so just like downhill uh, skateboarders, they use pucks on their hands. It's essentially the same type of thing as this. You want something that'll glide.